Hey, what's going on, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to add an auxiliary jack to your factory radio on a 2004 Suburban. Um, it has to have the XM satellite. And um, I did this a while ago, almost when these, right after these things first came out, people didn't want to um, change their radio out because the bow system, they didn't want to have to uh, rewire everything and stuff like that. So this was an uh, alternate solution. You know, you get these, one of these, like for Radio Shack or something, right here. It's like auxiliary jack. You got a ground, a left speaker channel, and a right speaker channel. I'll show you guys what to do with this in a minute. Try to make this video quick as possible. Um, it's gonna take the glove box down. We finna get to that in a second. All right, guys. Yeah, so here goes your glove box. You wanna open your glove box, and then. Try to block this sun out. See that right there? Gonna push that over and let, that, let your uh, glove box down. And this the box right here. You wanna be, you wanna look for right here. You're gonna be tapping into that plug. It's gonna be three wires, but I will only you. I would rather use just the two wires and then use a ground. You can get the ground from there, like I said. But is if it, you get a cleaner ground, it'll be a cleaner sound. You won't too much getting no back feeding and buzzing noise through your speakers so let's get into that i get in that to the second what wires you're gonna need you're gonna pull this uh plug out before you start splicing and soldering into your wires i'll show you guys what wires you need in a second all right guys it's a um you might want to take a little screwdriver i just took it and pull push this back a little bit this going this will stop the plug from coming out and then you'll be able to pull that plug right on out once you get that this blue tab back i need to put this camera down so i can pop it back a little bit all right guys this is how it look once it's out see that you want to take a flathead screwdriver if you can see it stick it between the blue plug and lift it up a little bit you don't got to pop it all the way up it just locks the uh plug in there all right All right, guys, if I remember this correctly, um, the green with a white right here and a brown with a white, those are the wires I spliced in two. Those are going to be the ones that go to the to the outer, the speaker channels on your uh, the left and right channel on your auxiliary port. And if you want to, you can use this... Uh, the thicker black and white, which is the one on the end, you can use that for a ground. You know, some sometimes you get uh, a little bit of engine noise, a buzzing noise through there, just slightly. And then sometimes you don't, depending on a vehicle. Like sometimes if the vehicle like need to tune up or is running a little rough, you might get noise. But if it's not, you know, it's, it's like a hit and miss. Or you could just ground it to, to, to a, a piece of metal. Let me open up this so I can show you what, what do it go to. All right, now that green and white and brown and white is gonna go to the back of here. See that, that these uh, pins right here, those two pins on the back, that's what that green and white and brown and white wire are gonna go to. And then the, the uh, pin that's off to the self on the side, that's gonna go to either the black and white or you can ground that on a piece of metal. It is strictly, strictly up to you on which one you wanna do. And then you want to find, see that nut on the end right there? You want to find somewhere to mount this through plastic, or you could just leave it in your glove box and plug it up. Me, I was going to uh, probably mount it somewhere up here at the bottom of that black plastic piece, but that's up to you. So you want to solder those, uh, those wires on. So let me go ahead and get some solder. And then I'm gonna I'm solder the wires on. And then remember, when you, if you're gonna mount it right there, drill like a small plug. I mean, I'm sorry, a, a small hole because you don't want to make the hole too big, you know. And I'm trying to make this video quick as possible so I can get this done with steel wire explaining on, on how to do it. So, all right, let me go ahead and get some. See if I got some um, some wire in here, extra wire in the house. As you guys can see, I didn't buy no uh, new wire. This is extra wire I had left over. I'll be keeping, like when I install my alarms and remote starters, I'll be keeping extra wire. You know, 
12 volt wire. So what I did, if you can see it right there, I soldered the end zone, that's the ground, this is the left and right channel for the speaker wire. And I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do a test run, I'm just gonna tie that in right now. I'm even gonna tie the ground into the black and white wire just to show you guys. But then I'm gonna take that off and ground it because I'm gonna I'm gonna ground mount. I just want to show you guys that it worked first. All right. All right, guys. They're just for uh, video purposes, testing purposes right now. Um, no, see, solder got all the wires up there just to test it to show you before I uh, make my wires neat and everything like that. Got them all tied in. Remember the side right here, the side one right here, the side, the pin, tie into the black and white. The right uh, channel on here, tied to the green and white, and then the other one tied to the uh, brown and white. So, and it's not gonna make no difference if you if you tie, uh, switch these two around, just, just make sure the ground is on the black and white. And I found one of these in the house to test it out with. And you can get these from, uh, I didn't get this one from a dollar store. I think this one costs a little bit more, but they got like the, uh, art, the um, auxiliary jacks at the dollar store. I don't care how much you expensive you pay for, you pay a dollar, 10, five, 15, 20. They're all gonna eventually get a short in it somehow. So you might wanna go to the dollar store and get you about five bucks worth, five of them and just put them up. You know? All right. So let's test that out. All right, guys, see, I plugged it into the uh, auxiliary. Let me get it right here. Just to test it out before I tie everything up. Plugged it in. Tied it into the uh, to the ground. Remember, go to, go to the, uh, to the uh, black and white. Don't use the one on the uh, edge. Use the one, the, uh, the inner one. As, as I'm saying it right now, I might say it on the other one. Use the, uh, I think it's the thinner one. Or you could just ground it. But, and, and, and so far, I'm not getting no noise, so I might just go ahead and tie it in. Or I might just ground it. I'm not I'm sure, but that's how it look right there. Tied into the, uh, black and white is the ground. Green and white is the um, right channel. Then brown and white is the left channel. <clears throat> Don't matter which one you go to on the left or right channel. If you mix those up fine. Just get the ground right or you won't have no uh, sound. And then you come over here, make sure that you on uh, zero, what well, says zero radio, radio ID. And I didn't want to get a copyright strike, so I'm on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna play one of my intro videos to make sure. All right, let's see, this is my intro video. Make sure the volume all the way up. See? Everything works perfect. See that? Everything works perfect. Now, I'm gonna solder that up. Solder everything up, uh, then run the wire. Well, actually, I'm gonna take this off, mount the uh, the, um, the plug, and then I'm gonna run everything back and solder it up. So, then that'll be that. All right, guys, let's 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 finish up. Let's finish up so I can enjoy the rest of my day. All right, guys, yeah. When you mount this switch, it's some. If you got some liquid tape, I meant to tell you, you can uh, rub that on the back of the solder. But what I'm gonna do, I don't have no liquid tape with me. I'm just gonna tape around the whole thing. I then mount the switch behind the plastic and I should be fine. You know, I did this, say my first rodeo, I did this back in 2005 or something like that. Like I said, right after these vehicles came out and I hadn't, didn't have no problem with them. So you can do that to liquid tape it or you could uh, tape it around the thing. But well, let me go get a drill bit, a small drill bit, and see, can I mount this switch? See, guys, this is what I was talking about when I said tape it with the black electrical tape. Tape it going down. If you don't got no, uh, the liquid tape. And then we're going to take this uh, screw off of here. Because we're going to need that when we mount it and run it through the plastic to mount on the end. 
So there's a little screw on here, that little nut right there. You just want to take that off. All right, you see that? Take that nut piece off right there. That's what we're going to need because you're going to stick that in through the back of the plastic. And this is going to hold it right here. So let me get a, go get a uh, drill bit so I can drill this hole. All right, guys, if you, as you see it, I ran it through here. That's going to be going back through here, behind here, and tie into, into those wires up there. And I'm going to be drilling to, to here, putting this through the back, and mounting my uh, hole. Only thing I can find, I don't know what happened to my bits. I had a big case, I had a bunch of bits, I'm cleaning out my tools. So I need to I need to get that stuff straight. So I got this one, that one look like it's way too big. So I got my unit bit right here. So I'm just testing the nut size so on there just so I should just be open it up a little bit. Just making sure I don't drill a, too big of a hole. So, let me drill this hole. I need to hold this plastic piece and drill with this other hand. So, I'll turn back on in a second, guys. All right, guys, voila. After you get it through there, you put the nut on there, and it's real neat. Look like it came like that from factory. Yep. I haven't did this since, like I said, 05, since they, right after they just, they had came out. You know, and I ain't want to get rid of the, my, what's the name? I'm thinking about, like, I got to run this. I'm like, nah, I know what? I'm going to do what I used to do. Throw that up in there. I thought I'd make a video on it. Ran my wires nice and neat through there. Tied all my stuff in. Now let me put everything back. And show you, let me show you everything working. Then we're going to pretty much end this video. See right there. Plug it in. You know, and remember I said set your uh to zero radio ID. And um got my extra phone right here. Let me just play one of my uh see everything work. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. If you like this video and find it helpful, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share this video out. Um, turn that notification bell on so you'll get uh, updated on future videos. And y'all be safe out there. Catch you guys on the next video. Be safe and I'm out.